What's up, everybody? Cryptic Coding here. Welcome to the first, second episode of Endless Runner Game Tutorial. In this episode, we, what we'll be doing, we'll be creating the enemy and we'll be randomizing the generation so our player can move around. So this is our main goal here. So let's get started by creating our first enemy scene. So let's go create a scene and we'll be just simply just will be simply as like the player and the coding will be that much easier. Uh, so don't worry about anything. So let's add a collision shape to this and also a sprite to this. All right, this is basically it. Just create new rectangle sprite and then pop the sprite in. After you pop the sprite in, we're just gonna say save and then say save.tsn. But before that, let's just change the collision shape like this. Save. Okay. We are done with the enemy now. I mean, not done with the enemy, we're done creating it. Now it's time to create the code. So we'll just go click on this, click on script, new script, and we did GD. So the main thing is it will be super simple. So do I am not going to record this thing anyway. The, uh, the enemy will come from this side. So it, it will go this side. So there is already code in the player.gd function. I'm going to just going to copy this thing. Uh, I mean the whole thing, copy and just paste this thing here. Let's change some things. First, we need to just remove this one. We don't need this. We'll say enemy speed. We don't need the up speed. Motion will be same. We'll just delete this thing. Minus equals to and player speed to enemy speed. All right. As you can see, the first bit of is done. Uh, the first bit is done. Yeah, that, that's actually it. You don't need anything to do with it. So the first job is done. Now, um, just go, oh God, okay, I just deleted everything, yay, no, not deleted, just let's open up our stupid world scene, there we go, uh, just put the thing here, 2D, okay, now the enemy will come from here, so we need to create a, a random enemy generator. Uh, we'll be creating another scene. So now it will be a 2D scene called random enemy generator. All right. Now this is the stuff that this will take a lot of time. Okay. So hang tight. New script, random enemy generator script. All right. Let's delete everything. First thing we need is the number of enemies. So just give it the stuff, stuff, number of enemies. Next, uh, we need a lot of code, a lot of variables, but I don't, I can't remember it right now. We'll go through it. So now I can think of is the, uh, the enemy itself, the enemy thing, the e enemy path. There you go. Enemy path. We'll be preloading the script, preload, preloading the script called enemy TSCN. This will be our thing. Now we need to do it in the ready function. Now another thing we need first, another thing we need now remember uh, is the the position. So we need to say we need to create a random enemy position, and this is the, this will be a vector too. Okay. Oh, okay. Enemy to TSN. Of course, save it, save it, save it, save it. Do whatever you want like. Save it. And we need a timer, timer node as well. So the timer node, no timer node. It will be a just timer variable. So let's say, let's say it's a float. Okay, float. Uh, var timer. Uh, I would say spawn timer is a not much more nicer name. Spawn timer. Okay. We have three, uh, four variables, if I can count. Now let's add a function ready, pass, oh God, pass. Why am I making mistakes? Okay, now first thing we need to create is the creation process itself. So we'll say mm, while true, because I want to create this infinitely. So while true, this will create an infinite loop. And next, we need to make sure that we create a for loop. 
for loop is needed? Yes, it is needed. So first, well, when the the game starts, or when the loop starts, we need to say that yield is, I mean yield. Yield means stop, wait. This, this will be take a little wait timer. Yield is a statement that is used for making sure that you wait before. So basically, this is what the syntax looks like. It's not that complex, if you understand. And we want to make sure when this timeout, it means that when th th there will be a waiting period. So if this timer will specify that thing here, if the timer, we we completed the timer on the timeout, it means that the timer is already finished. Next, we need to move. I mean, we need to create. How am I going to create using a for loop for I in number range? Sorry. One, two number of enemy we know that it, it, it's time for the number of a, a, enemy now we need to just say pass because i need to think then i'm gonna write okay so just give me a little bit there you go okay now we need to create the enemy itself so i mean uh, this is the enemy path but we need to create the enemy object so enemy equals to enemy path dot instance okay so this is the instance of the, our enemy. Now what you need to do is create a random position because the, the when the generation process is done, we need to create two variables. I think we need more, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, we need three variables. First is the position variable. So we'll say enemy position equals to a vector two. And we need to specify the enemy. Now, now we need to, <laughs> okay, now we need to create a random position. That's why you created this thing right here. So we'll say random x position. So random x pose, pose equals to uh, another thing. Now, I don't now remember what we need. We need to create a random generator. So to create a random generator, we need to create a variable called rand. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry, because it, it is a lot of code. So, hopefully I'm going a little slow now. <laughs> um, what, what I'm saying, I don't know. Okay, so var rand equals to random number generator dot new. Okay, we created a random generator dot new. Now, we need to make sure that we need to specify is a rand dot rand dot x range, rand f dot rand f dot range. We need to specify from zero to random enemy random enemy position dot x same for the y axis so for oh yeah y y axis yes pose equals to rand dot dot rand f dot range zero zero random position dot y all right we are we are kind of done here Kind of, I said kind of. Now we need to do is add the enemy position to this thing. So we created the uh, randoms and things. Now we need to just specify that that's x equals to this. And that's y equals to y, that thing, this thing. So enemy position dot x equals to random x pose and enemy position dot y equals to random y pose. So we'll say enemy position dot x equals to random expose and enemy position dot y equals to random y pose after this we need to make sure i'm sorry for the stupid horn so um now what, what do you need to do we need to specify now the enemy position cal is calculated now we just set the position enemy's position so enemy dot position equals to enemy position Okay, so um, now we are done right now. We're kind of done. We're not really, really done. Now what you need to do is just say add child to the enemy. Okay. Now if I remember correctly, if, I, um, if I'm done correctly. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Another thing. Another thing we need is the randomized, randomized thing. Now why do I need randomize? Uh, I will explain. Wait a minute. You need to put this thing right here. Okay, just remove these passes. We don't need them. It's 25 lines of code and it looks pretty cool. Okay, 
Let me explain the code. If you want, you can skip ahead, but uh, I'm going to explain a little bit because I know I rushed through like a piece of crap. But uh, this line of code basically creates a timer. And this thing is creates a for loop. So over every single after a specific time, the randomize uh, the we will create another enemy. So this is the random count. So this is the number of enemies it will be created. So if the number of enemies like two, three, four, something like that, it will be creating two, three, four enemies after the timer is time out. I mean, timer's time is done. Wow. I cannot explain for some reason <laughs> if, you, if, you, if that makes sense. Okay, var enemy equals to enemy path dot instance. Enemy path is the path variable, and we have a enemy. Then we need to create an enemy position. This is a blank position. Then we randomize this thing. Randomize mean randomize meaning we're creating a random value between zero and this. Now, this what this randomize does. It makes sure makes sure that this thing right here has the has more of a more random seed okay so this thing has a seed and then this thing randomizes that seed as much as possible so you get a complete different random value same for the same for the wipos then we just set enemy position and then we just uh, set the position right there if i um if i'm if it done correctly we'll create a sprite as, as well now what why do i need to sprite because to just like show where the heck that thing it actually is wait a second where the hell is this this one i'll just make it like this save this go to the world and then let's add the random generator pop that thing there number of enemy will be one and spawn timer will be 0 0.6 can i do that yes i can uh so let's say with the 10 and 10 and the moment of truth It, it 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 renders i think it renders wait 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 no it doesn't okay there you go okay i got it i got it sorry about that this will be zero from zero to one. Oh my god okay um there we go okay there we go there you go there you go okay now we need to make sure the uh, the enemy has some value and enemy has some value let's put some enemy speed let's say 200 and let's save this thing uh, and then pop this thing up boom 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 and now you see that it is going insane all right now we need to make sure that it creates uh we we need to make sure that it is much more random as much randoming as possible so you'll just play around with those values, okay? Play around with this, these values, and uh, yeah. It's not about where you put it, just put this thing right here and then play. Let's see. As you can see, it works pretty nicely. Yeah, I would say pretty nicely it works. Um, <clears throat> let's go for a little bit more. Um, Let's go for 50 and let's go for 50 from the y axis as well. Yep, there we go. Add more of an y, y value than x, x value. This will give you much more power over yourself. I mean, what the heck I just talked about? I mean, talked about. No, you will give more of an. It will make sure it will randomize much more quickly. As you can see, it works pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. I know it's a pretty big video. I don't know how much it is. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.